Well, if you had plans to decorate for the holidays this weekend, the weather probably put a pause on those plans. <laughs> if you were able to do anything this weekend. It was just a good excuse for me not to do it. it pretty it much. Just, it was a good weekend to sit on the couch, yes. watch some sports, and uh, just kind of chill. Yeah, it really was. It, it was a nice change. I enjoyed it. I didn't mind it either. We did set some records in terms of rainfall. In fact, we had the highest two-day rainfall out at Sky Harbor since uh, February 22nd, 2019, over an inch of rain, but that wasn't the highest total in the valley. Check out Queen Creek, over two and a quarter inches there, close to two inches in Gold Canyon and Apache Junction. West Valley didn't see quite as much. Most fell under an inch there. The East Valley saw mostly over an inch and a half, so uh, we did pick up a lot of rain with that. We're not entering a completely dry week of weather either but it will be drier compared to what we had over the last 48 hours. A lot heavy moisture now moving east. Same with some of the clouds, but we are going to wake up to a dreary start out the door tomorrow morning with some locally dense fog. Could be under a quarter of a mile in spots. We're actually tracking an area of low pressure moving into California that will keep some rain and even some mountain snow chances. The totals are going to be a lot lighter over the next couple days. This is a look at some of the rainfall through Tuesday and you can see well under a quarter of an inch, so nothing like what we had this past weekend. Areas of southwestern Arizona looking to stay entirely dry. Here's that storm system, though. It is going to be moving inland, and as we get toward Monday afternoon, outside of Phoenix tomorrow, a brief sprinkle will be possible, mostly in the high country. Better chance, though, Tuesday into Wednesday, and you'll start to see a little bit more green on the map. This is Tuesday afternoon at 2.30, and then we'll continue with some of those chances in to Wednesday and as some of that colder air moves in up in the high country, northern Arizona, we will see a transition over to some snowflakes, but snow totals with this system look to be about an inch or under. It is going to be sparse, not particularly cold, although with the sunshine that we're expecting the second half of the week, overnight lows will turn quite cold again. Tomorrow we're going to barely hit 70 in Phoenix, 47, mostly cloudy up in Flagstaff, a spot shower can can't be ruled out mostly up in the high country, but the better chance comes Tuesday into Wednesday. Up in the mountains, some gusty winds tomorrow, close to 30 miles per hour from 2 to 4 p.m., less windy in the valley. Let's check out those seven day forecasts, beginning with Flagstaff. Mostly cloudy tomorrow, a fair number of clouds actually through Wednesday. Rain snow mix possible Tuesday, and a couple residual snowflakes on Wednesday. Wednesday, we only hit 37 for the high. And in the valley, we go from the 60s on Tuesday and Wednesday. We stay in the 60s for the rest of the week, but when we see those clouds move on, those morning lows dropping back into the low 40s later in the week. All right, Lindsay, thanks so much. All right, so if you were able to get off the couch,